Hello, Masaka Universe. I decide I'll make the big roundup tomorrow. Uh, I'm too busy at work to really get uh, into all the intricacies of the final day of Serie A. So I decided to make a little filler video, which is showing you a jersey from my collection. There are five club jerseys that are left. One of those is this Valencia jersey that I was actually initially thinking about. And I said, now, nah, uh, you got that trophy yesterday. My older daughter said it's a better jersey to um, look at. So I'm going to look at the latest club jersey that I got, which is this wonderful Juventus shirt. From 1990 to 92, um, why so, um, why so uh, wide of a range? First of all, uh, jerseys back then have been worn over a few seasons. But um, the 91-92 version had here the Cocarda, but it was not necessarily sold that way. And I think when I look at the inside, it actually could be the 1991 version. The 1992 uh, had a little bit more solid material in there as far as I know, but I'm not 100% that I have not done all that research. Um, so yeah, it is one of those two seasons or all those two together. And I list, list it as 1990 to 992. I know if it, if it had the Cocarda, I would know for sure. The Cocarda actually, were the Cup Winners Shield, was actually into interesting one only halfway. It was showing only under these two stars, which I found was a very interesting thing. Uh, classic Juve striping. This is actually, to me, this is the first Juve shirt that I ever saw. So to me, this is how Juve should more or less look like. And I absolutely love it. And, you know, for me, this jersey is equivalent with Roberto Baggio. I know. He was, a, he's a, uh, especially if you're a Fiorentina fan, that's not uh, what, what you want to hear. But when I really started to get in, into soccer, it was right after the 1990 World Cup. And that moment, Baggio has switched to Juve. This was his first season with Juve. And he wore this absolute stunning beauty. Uh, it's just striped. And then, of course, there is number 10 in there. Juve did not use this number font back then. Um, they used one where you had the number and then it was a single a black and white outline but still it looks too good to me to just um disregard it number 10 this is roberto baggio i mean uh my favorite non-milan player at least of that period so uh for me i couldn't get wrong i needed to get this jersey uh, the f interesting story, this was a long time coming. I actually contacted the seller. It was initially out for 40 euros, then he dropped it to 30. Then I said, okay, now I'm gonna 30 for such an old shirt. If you look online, you cannot get this for under 100 euros usually. So the private seller, uh, I contacted him and he said, yeah, I was not sure about the sizing uh, because the label is worn off. And he said it's M or L and I rather have L. So that what uh, drew me off, but and because we were talking about that, he kind of said, yeah, maybe uh, we should arrange a meeting and maybe he will come my way at some time, but it never worked out. And he even wrote, wrote, wrote to me after three weeks, are you still interested? I said, yes, I'm interested. We just need to make a meeting. And then at the beginning of May, so I contacted him before Ronaldo's performance against Atleti, even before the first leg of that one, I think. Oh, nah, it was <coughs> before the first... Um, against Atleti and I got it when they were already eliminated in early May. Uh, I mean, not that I really would have needed, but it would have been nice to have it back then. Anyway, <laughs> we met, I look at it, it had a stain here that I already could get out. It still has a slight stain on the back that I'm still need to work on. <coughs> Excuse me. In the number, I don't think I will get this stain out. I think this seemed to me like fat stains. But it's absolutely good condition. I mean, there's some so, uh, pulls. You can see there's some wear and tear here around the edges of the two stars. Um, you know, few pulls here and there, but overall in pretty decent condition for such an old shirt. Now, the interesting part is the patterning inside the stripes. You can already pick it up a little bit. There's always those, you know, diamonds in their pattern, but there's a little bit more to it. There are actually UV crests. The, Let's see if the video will pick it up. Here, you can maybe make out a Juve crest. Maybe, maybe not. That's in the pattern in there. Uh, I'll try the one here on the chest. It would be nice to find it in a black strap. 
I think that might work out better. Let me see here. I always find the ones that, that, that are upside down, but it is sublimated as a shadow pattern in there. No. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Can I get it? Maybe, yeah, you see the Kappa logo here, and here comes the UV crest. Maybe not. I cannot get it. I'm sorry. I, I'm because Carl could look at the wrong. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, a little bit. Believe me, they are there. It's really hard. I might have to make a picture of it uh, and put it on the video. Uh, it's actually a really, really nice touch on that shirt. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it. This is a shirt that I wanted. I can tell you even, even story. The first time I was in Italy was in 93 and we were in Naples and Rome and I saw in Rome an Upim store and I said, hmm, I need to go in this Upim store. Maybe I will get a Juve shirt there. Because it's absolutely stupid back then. But you know, for me, Upim was equal to Juve, <laughs> which is also a little bit. But yeah, but the, the, the advertising does, does for you. Uh, I ended up not getting a jersey on the trip, but I got a few scarves. Mostly Milan. This Milan scarf was my first ever Milan scarf here. That's the one I got on that trip in Naples. This shirt is an absolute beauty. Again, front, the back with the number 10. I absolutely love how the jerseys were made back then and maybe it's coming back now. I saw the new Milan shirt, you know, you had the stripes uh, done like that. There's nothing here on the uh, on, on the shoulders. I also really like the collar, this wide open collar with the uh, shirt neck. This is a beauty. This is an absolute beauty and I'm really happy to have this. I honestly, honestly I want to have the one that they won the Champions League in in 96, but other than that, that's the that, that's the only Juve jersey I, I will ever need. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey. If you have any memories attached to it or not, what do you think about it? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Sorry for trying to find a little bit too much here, wasting time, but whatever. And yeah, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.